I am about to sell my first baby rabbit that my rabbits have produced. I waited a few minutes just for it to turn into an adolescent because old granny over there in that direction told me that if I sold them at this age, I can get the most money out of it. So let's do it. So we're getting 31 beans out of this rabbit. I don't know if that's a lot. I guess we'll find out by selling other rabbits of the same age without the traits and compare the prices. Okay, we need to make more rabbits. So let's go get these two boys or this boy and a girl and take them over to the pen. Gotta make sure I get my resources before I actually move them out though. Okay, boys, time to make some more babies. They still have a little bit of food, so that's good. I need to figure out where I can get more of that seedy mush or fruit mush. What is this thing? Manure mound? I don't really know what the purpose of this is. That's not very good XP. Okay, based on the conversations that these people are having, they're pretty much doing this even though it gives very little amount of XP for the farming outfit or for the farming pad. Because I guess you can just sit here and click on it and just do some other stuff. I'm not going to be doing that in this video though. I do want the outfit. I would like the farming pet, but we got other stuff to explore first. Okay, apparently we can buy some other animals from the market. We have 411 beans to spare, and we could either get a bank chest, a second small pen, a medium pen, or a farming totem. Let's look at the animals. We can get a chicken. I guess the only thing we can get right now are the chickens, so let's buy one chicken. Actually, I think we need two chickens. We need a rooster and a chicken. Honestly, I don't even know if chickens can have eggs without a male. I don't fucking know. We're just gonna get the chicken. And we need another pen, so let's get that. And I guess we can get this farm totem. Not entirely sure what it does, but fuck it. We'll find out. The only way of finding out is by doing it. So let's do it. Um, uh, okay, so there's two spots where I can put this totem. Either here or here. But I don't have either of these deeds, so I guess it's kind of useless. We're gonna have to get some more beans to get either this pen or that one. And it doesn't look like I can put this somewhere else. Oh, wait, actually, I can put it here. Not entirely sure what this does, but screw it. I'm doing it. Oh, so I need planks to do this. Okay. How many do I need? I need 10 oak planks and 75 iron nails. Or better. Okay, looks like we're gonna go tree chopping and iron mining. So let's go chop this tree over here, make them into planks, and then come back to get this pen up and running. Now, I do know you can get other animals by hunting, summoning, killing them. So I'm kind of curious to see all the possibilities. I wonder how many breeds of animals they actually allowed into this, uh, into this new content. Gotta make some of these nails first. Making the nails. Now all we need left are the planks. We got the planks. Let's go back to our farm. There we go. I think now we can put the chicken into the pen. Only farm animals can be stored in the farming pen. I've- what? What does that mean? What do I do with this egg? I bought it for no reason then. Where do the chickens go? Oh, my bad. I was supposed to click on it. We have a common white chicken. What kind of stats does it have? It seems to be fairly happy, and uh, I don't know what this bar is. I guess it's its health? I don't know. It's got the stress trait. What in the world does that mean? This animal suffers from performance anxiety. That really fucking sucks. You're not very attractive, and you don't perform that well. That's not a good thing. We gotta make sure we feed the chicken too. I'm not entirely sure what chickens eat. Probably seeds. I don't know. Eats vegetables, fruits, and seeds. Okay, so I guess we can put whatever we want from this list and it'll be happy. Now we wait for this chicken to hatch. We're gonna need another chicken though. If the whole breeding process works just like how it works with the bunnies, we're gonna need another one. And have these two made another kid? No, they have not. Okay, I seriously don't know if its happiness is decreasing. I don't know what else to do. I guess at this point, it's just a waiting game. Okay, initially, I thought these were more breeding pens, but they're not. They're actually just more pens like the ones over there to store different animals. Let's go inside the house. I haven't checked out the house yet. Is there anything fun to do in the house? What's this thing? Oh, these are all the breeds that you can get from the animals. There's a freaking lizard chicken. That is fucked up. There's lots of different chinchampas too, that's pretty cool. Ooh, I really want to do this spider here. As a matter of fact, I hate spiders in real life, so it makes no sense that I want to breed the spider. Okay, there's nothing else to do in this house, uh, but it looks like Granny has a fucking mouse problem. Okay, well at this point I guess this is just a waiting game. So we get more rabbits, and we can't get any more animals without making rabbits because that's our main source of income. How many beans do I have left? I only have 86 beans. Actually, I think we could buy another chicken. Yeah, I can buy another chicken, so let's do it. Oh, we got a rooster. That's perfect. Maybe we do need to have a male and a female for chickens to make babies. Well, that's good. Now we have the pair. Okay, time to wait. Okay, it's been a couple hours since the last time I came to this farm. One of our rabbits was sick. I cured it, but I totally forgot to press the record button. So you missed it. I got the first cure attempt wrong, so his stats were decreased. But I got the second one right. And our rooster and chicken have finally reached the adult stages as well. So this is good news. I already claimed one of the resources. It gave me 2k XP, which gave us a farming level. We're at 39 farming now. I thought I should save this next produce gathering for the video. So let's click on it. 2.5k XP. And that is really close to a level. It's not going to give it to us though. I got to keep remembering to come back and feed the animals because I totally forgot. And the rabbits had none. That is really bad news. Here's what we're going to do though. We're going to remove the chicken. And we're going to remove the rooster. And we're going to take them over to the, the breeding pen. Actually, scratch that. We're not going to do that with the rooster. We're going to do it with the rabbits. Because I haven't tried breeding them with this farm totem. And hopefully now it'll be a little bit more successful. So let's take these rabbits. 
over to the breeding pen. Before we actually put these rabbits into the pen, let's get some more food so we can refill the, the trough. I don't really know how much food you're supposed to fill it up with, but we're going to take all of my potato seeds and hope that it doesn't take all of them. So it seems like the max number of stuff that this trough will take is 60, so let's go ahead and add it because we have a lot of potato seeds. Oh, first we actually have to put the rabbits in, okay. I really like this seed food concept because let's say you're at a higher level farming level, but you have tons of potato seeds, you can totally use these potato seeds to feed your animals because you're probably never going to plant them. I really like that a lot. Now hopefully these rabbits produce us a baby because it's been a minute since we've gotten one and I have no idea on how to increase their happiness. I guess we'll find out the more we do this. Okay, we're gonna wait and then I'll get back to you if there's a bunny or not. Here's an update people. I've been all over RuneScape trying to find the best rabbit spots because breeding rabbits, that's not a very good way of getting a bulk amount of them. At least not with the perks that my rabbits have. It's fucking terrible. So I've been killing tons of rabbits. Right now I have 11 common brown rabbits, which I got over in Lumbridge. And another player told me he got some creamy ones here in Relica. But I've been here for like 40 minutes and a no creamy rabbit has been dropped. Not even a common brown one. And I got two rabbits within the first five minutes over in Lumbridge. So I guess these rabbits are a little more rare than the brown ones. I have no idea. So I was talking to a group of players and we were all discussing about traits and perks and comparing our breeding rates depending on what perks our rabbits had and it turns out that the traits actually make a huge friggin difference. This one person with joyful traits was producing a lot more rabbits than all of us. I literally produced one rabbit in like four or five hours or at least it felt that way. I'm not entirely sure if that was the amount of hours it took but it was a decent amount of time. So that is why I'm out here exploring RuneScape to get more rabbits because I need better perks for mine. So we got 11 rabbits here. Let's see what we got. Let's check the first one. It's a female by the name of Barry, and she's a handsome rabbit. That's always good. This animal is better looking than most others. I think this is perfect for breeding, so that's good. Let's check the next one. Barry. Oh, we got two berries, and they're both female. This one's plain though, so I'm probably going to sell this one. Apparently plain isn't that good for breeding. The next one is named Silver, and she's a female. I really love this name. I might actually end up keeping this one just because of that name. This one apparently has a young at heart trait. What does that say? This animal ages much slower than the normal. Hey, that's perfect. And so far, two of my rabbits have pretty good happiness and pretty good health. Well, the first one is, I guess this is all right happiness, but she has a pretty decent amount of health. The second one though, I don't know about this one. She might end up getting sold. The next one is a male by the name of Wilfred, and he has a sullen trait. This animal always sees the glass as half empty. Okay, that is not good. I think that's terrible for breeding. Or he could be a realist, who knows? The next one is Clover, and she's a female, and she also has the plain trait. The next one is Daisy, and she's also a female, and she has the trait genetic inferiority. That sounds pretty fucking epic. Offspring of this animal are less likely to have multiple traits. Oh wait, inferiority? That's actually bad. That's not a good thing. Okay, well, I don't know. The next one is Bucky. He's a male, and he has a jovial trait. This animal always sees the glass as half full. Okay, that's perfect. Or at least I think that's perfect. And I have no clue if the attractiveness or the beauty marks depends on whether they're going to breed successfully or not. Maybe it improves the chances of breeding. We got Daffodil, another female, and she has a chief trait. This rabbit commands the warren. I might actually keep this one. I still have to figure out what these traits offer me. We got Leo, and he's a male with another jovial trait. We got Richard, another male, and he also has a chief trait. And the very last one is Frank, a male, and he has a robust trait. This animal is more resistant to disease. Okay, those are all the rabbits. Let's go back to our player-owned farm and put them in a pen. Before we do that though, I actually have to go farm some fruit because the type of food actually matters a lot to keep them happy. And I've been giving them seeds, so that's not very ideal. So I'm gonna get some pineapples from the bank over here, and we should be good. Hopefully I can even give them pineapples. Actually, I'm gonna try and give them cabbage. Rabbits like cabbages, don't they? We gotta keep in mind of the plain rabbits because those are the ones I'm gonna sell. I'm gonna keep the rest so I can breed them later, and then we'll have a bunch of baby rabbits with amazing traits that we can sell for profit. We gotta get to a point where we have tons of baby rabbits so we don't lose our means of getting them. We gotta be smart about this. Oh, we actually can't even use any more. Well, I didn't even put some of the ones I was supposed to. Okay, well, I guess we can go bank the rest and save them for later. Now, let's go put some food before we forget, because I will forget, and then we'll have a bunch of dead rabbits. That's a very bad thing. I don't think that's enough pineapples. Let's go get about 20 more, and then be done with it. And if I'm not mistaken, I think we can collect some resources from our next two chickens. Yes, we can. How much XP will this give us? 625. That's not bad. And the next one the same amount. Thankfully, no one is sick. I got really unlucky with my first set of chickens. Literally, the hen has a stress trait and the rooster has the stingy trait. Those are terrible traits. This one, on the other hand, has a sparkling trait. There's something almost shiny about this animal. So this one will sell for more beans. That's always great. And this one has the genetic inferiority, which is, I don't know if that's a good or bad thing. And before I end the video, let's go check on these rabbits. Okay, nothing is happening. 
in this pen. They are getting a little bit happier though, so that's good. Okay, so far so good. I think this is a good spot to end the video. Thank you so much for watching. Hopefully you've enjoyed it. I'll see you all in the next video. Peace.